All right, Slackmaster fans, a cable erotic classic. This is Felicity. She's not mama's little girl no more. Let's check it out. Willow's End, the rest of the world seemed far away. At that time, any talk or action concerning sex was discouraged. But that didn't stop some of us from thinking about it almost constantly. This is Felicity. I always loved the ballet classes. On the right. They were hard work. But as I stretched my leg on the bar, I felt the pull of muscles, the nerves that carried the messages to every part of my breasts. When I was just a child, my body was as straight as a little boy's. Then I began to grow up. I began to look at the other girls, sneaking a look when they were dressing or showering. Peeping Tom, too. It was then I realized my body was attractive to other people, too. And it gave me a new sensation. Mr. Jacobs, the grocer, made me aware that it wasn't only young boys who were interested in me. Do you need any help, though? No, thank you. She's going off to Hong Kong. Goodbye. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. Goodbye, Jenny. Arranged by her father. While on the train, a couple makes out behind her and she's reading Emmanuel. I appreciate that. She stays with Christine and Stephen, I guess friends of her father. Darling, I knew you would once. You're so much like your father. <laughs> Her first night there, she hears them doing it, and she goes on spies on them, which I can't show you. The next day, Christine takes her underwear shopping, because that's what you do. And there's a long sequence of clothes changing. He's so cunning, he makes you feel extravagantly naughty and loving. Is he homosexual? I can never be sure. There's a lot of voyeuristic activity in this film. She ends up taking off one night with this guy named Andrew that she met through Christine and Stephen. Take them off. She ends up losing her virginity on the hood of this car. Now, would you lay back in the car? Lift your skirt and spread your legs slightly. Next thing that happens is uh, Christine sets her up with this woman named Mei Ling who's going to show her the sights of Hong Kong. What is this place? Don't be afraid. We're going to take a bath like you never had before. The next scene has four naked ladies in this tub. Man, I wish I could show it to you. Mei Ling brings her to where she works. What is this place? This is Chinese House of Pleasure. You may watch, and no one will try to touch you. Basically what it is, is a bunch of people having sex in different rooms on a boat, and she spends time watching them. I can't show you this scene, but then uh, this man takes her from behind, and she loves it, because she never sees his face. Now this is uh, Mei Ling walking through the streets of Hong Kong, with her underwear showing. And, uh... Felicity's following her. I guess she wants to know where she lives. But she leaves Mei Ling. Turns out she was helping some refugees. She gets followed by a couple of thugs. Slowly. She manages to elude them, trips on the street, and gets found by this nice man named Miles. I think it's going to be Miles' lucky day. Tell me, what are you doing for the next couple of days? He takes her to his place. Spending them with you, I think. <sighs> I'd better call Christine and tell her I'll be away for a few days and get her to send me some extra clothes. And they instantly fall in love. I want us to make love together. Honey... In three days, I leave for a job at Chung Chow. 
Well then, let's not waste any time. <laughs> so she gets her wish and they do consummate. Can't show you a whole lot of this scene either. We're watching a dirty movie in a theater. As they continue to watch the film, she starts to uh, unzip his fly, and the next thing you know, his head's in her lap, and I can't show you. At this point, she's so horned up, they end up doing it on a bus. Oh. Next thing you know, she wants on the elevator. Go and see the woman, Miss And they say their goodbyes as he's off to whatever job or whatever it is he's doing. So she drowns her sorrows by sleeping with Mei Ling. Felicity decides to uh, go to Chung Chow to look for Miles. Mei Ling decides to help her. goes to a club where a live sex show is taking place. They end up doing it in an alley. I can't show you a whole heck of a lot of this scene either. But apparently she's forgotten all about Miles. Honestly, I didn't even know his name. It reminds me of a book I once read called Fear of Flying. In that, the author turned to similar occurrence, The Zipless Fuck. She eventually tracks down Miles, but he's like sick or something. <laughs> she helps nurse him back to health. Don't they bone a few times as the film ends. What have you been up to since I've been gone? I haven't exactly been in the picture of innocence. I must admit I've uh, sampled my fair share of delights too. Miles, I think I could stay with you forever. Why don't we talk about that tomorrow? Let's enjoy the day first. All right, let's talk about Felicity. This is a uh, this is a cable classic, is what this was. This was shown uh, quite a bit back in the '80s on your Showtimes and your movie channels, maybe Cinemax, you know, late at night, that sort of thing. It's a foreign uh, sex drama. It's not a comedy, really. I'll list the foreign one is actually from Australia. A lot of those kind of films were made in Germany and such, but this one is Australian. So it's Osploitation, as they would say. Uh, directed by John D. LeMond, who uh, directed another film I did called uh, Pacific Banana, which I reviewed on my old channel. I haven't redone that one yet, but I will. And uh, stars Glory Annan, who I always thought kind of reminded me a little bit of like a, a prettier Chelsea Clinton. Um... And she didn't actually do a whole lot of acting in her career. She did 12 or 13 things, according to IMDb. Uh, unfortunately, since the last time I reviewed this on my old channel, she's passed away. She died in 2017. Um, she was also in a movie called Spaced Out, which I'm going to be reviewing probably late next week, maybe. But anyway, Felicity. It's a coming-of-age story. Uh, Felicity is a 17-year-old, although in real life I think she was 26. And uh, she lives in some boarding school somewhere, and she gets... Uh, it's just ridiculous. There's, there's this dialogue, this narrator talking at the beginning of the movie, which is her voice basically telling us how, uh, you know, when I was younger, my chest was flat, but then I started looking at all the other girls and I wanted to touch their bodies, you know? And then we see various scenes of undress and showering and all kinds of things. Uh, almost some lesbianism in the Catholic school there. But then she gets sent by her father, who we never see, to Hong Kong to spend some time with, uh, I guess, her father's friends, uh, these adults, uh, St Stephen and uh, Christine, while they're there, uh, uh, she spies on them having sex one night, and then she gets all horned up. Um, and she goes out with them uh, the next night, and she meets some guy named Andrew, who's quite a bit older than her. Andrew deflowers her on the hood of the, his car. Um, and from that point on, she's just fascinated by sex. She's always reading about sex, the Emmanuel book, A Story of O, and uh, she sleeps around a bit. Um, and discovers that she enjoys it. She meets Mei Ling, this Chinese woman who uh, agrees to show her some of the sites, and she shows her all these pleasure hotels and things like that where massages take place. Man, there's a lot of nudity in this movie. Um, eventually, she meets this guy, Miles, uh, who uh, sounds like he's Australian also. 
um, and they hit it off, but he's got to go away uh, for some photography job somewhere else in China. Uh, but eventually he, she tries to track him down with the help of Mei Ling. Uh, so they go to the city where, he, where he's at. While they're on their way, or while they're there, before she meets Miles again, she ends up sleeping with the bartender um, in an alley. Um, it was a bartender at some sort of live sex show. Uh, but eventually she does find Miles, who's like a little sickly from, I don't know, seasickness or something. But she nurses him back to health, and they screw a few more times, and she admits that she wasn't exactly pure during their absence, and he says the same thing. But the next thing you know, they're running off naked in the ocean, and they're going to live happily ever after. That's Felicity. So anyway, that is it, Felicity. Now, I had this on a pre-recorded VHS tape. Uh, Private Screenings put this out, actually. Um, this version here on this Blu-ray here is uh, completely uncut, as far as we know. It apparently came from John Lamont's uh, own private vault. It's 94 minutes long, um, and it's dirty. Uh, there's a lot of nudity in this movie, no hardcore stuff. Uh, there's uh, both some male and female nudity in this, and uh, there's crotch shots, and it's 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 risque, put it that way. And there's just wall-to-wall -wall nudity in this movie, and uh, everybody looks fantastic. Let's just leave it at that. But anyway, that is Felicity. Again, I'm nostalgic about this film because it just takes me back to 30 years ago when I saw this for the first time. So, And it's actually not a horrible film. It's, a, like I said, a coming-of-age sex film drama i guess you could say but it's not it doesn't seem overly exploitative even though it kind of is so i don't know anyway uh this blu-ray is fantastic by the way it's got a couple of extras on here some documentaries the abcs of love and sex and australia after dark which are two um sexy australian uh documentaries this also amazingly has some audio commentary from both john lamont and glory annan who plays uh felicity uh, next time I watch the movie, I'm going to watch it with that on because I'm just, I, I just I can't believe it exists. Um, a little, some outtakes from the Not Quite Hollywood uh, film also, which includes some interviews with Gloria Annan. So anyway, that's it. Felicity, uh, again, that's nostalgic for me. So I would say, say definitely check it out. It's, it's, if you're looking for a film like this, this is a perfect example of this genre and it, it delivers the goods. I promise you. Check it out. Leave some comments and let me know what you think about it. Felicity, watch it. Bye.